Well, first of all, uh, Jensen, thank you very much for uh, uh, being with us today. Um, today is really Congratulations, Tarek. <laughs> Yesterday was the announcement, the grand opening of Humane. Of Humane. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're, we're delighted to partner with you. It was, I, I, I was, I'm honored and delighted to have watched you form Humane. And now this is Saudi Arabia's AI company. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And maybe we, we should share with everybody one of the most important thing. In building any AI company, you need the foundation and the infrastructure. And this infrastructure really rely very heavily on advanced chipsets and accelerated compute. Today we are announcing that we're doing a 500 megawatt deployment with NVIDIA. It's a really, really big initiative for the kingdom. And I wanted, Jensen, just to give you a thought and idea about the innovation that NVIDIA is bringing to Saudi Arabia and to the global AI ecosystem. You want me to talk yes. about this? Yes. So this thing is sitting over here. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it weighs too much to pick up. Uh, but this is, this is uh, two black wells, and it's 2,500 watts, 2,500 out of the 500 gigawatts of computing infrastructure that's going to be built. As you know, artificial intelligence has been a revolutionary technology, the most transformative technology of our time, maybe of any time. And you've heard plenty about the capabilities of artificial intelligence. You've also heard how AI is going to transform every single industry, meaning that it's going to be the infrastructure of every single industry. And Humane is going to be building the AI infrastructure here in Saudi Arabia. But what people don't realize is unlike many technologies that are transformative, AI is also in itself an industry. It is a manufacturing industry. It's a manufacturing industry that requires energy. And as you know, Saudi Arabia is rich with energy. Transforming the energy through this giant versions of these, these NVIDIA AI supercomputers, which are essentially AI factories. Energy powers these AI factories. Artificial intelligence tokens are generated. And those tokens are reformulated into applications and problem-solving AIs that Tarek and Humane will create for Saudi Arabia and the rest of the world. Yeah, we're very, very excited, Jensen. So once we address the infrastructure layer, of course, you know, the innovation that would come is the models, and we've seen all of the things that are happening in generative AI, and we're super excited about it. But I've also heard you talk about something else, the physical world and physical AI. Um, would you mind just giving a perspective on how this relationship between generative AI, the physical AI, and the platforms that NVIDIA is, is uh, providing to Humane? Well, over the last 12 years, we've both been involved in the development of the AI industry. Technology went from the first time you saw AI was perception AI, AIs that can recognize cats and words and sounds and speech. Perception AI evolved into generative AI. You can now use words to generate words or words to generate images, words to generate chemicals and proteins, generative AI. Then the third era, which is the era we're in right now, is AI technology that can reason. And the, form, the formulation, the, the application of that capability is agentic AI. AI that can have agency. It can use tools, it can reason, it can solve problems. Essentially a digital robot that sits inside the computer. The next era, the era that we're working on now, is AIs that understands the laws of physics, the rules, the common sense of the physical world. That if you tip over a bottle, that it would fall. It would understand gravity and inertia and cause and effect and object permanence and occlusion and so on and so forth. The things that all of us humans understand common sense about the physical world. That next generation of physical AI, along with all of the technology that has already been created, could be embodied into a physical form. 
and that physical form would be robotics. So the era of AI is moving incredibly fast. We're in a, a Gentech AI world today, and we're in the robotics world or physical AI shortly from now. Jensen, I, I wish we have so much more time to spend because it's really a privilege to have you here. Um, on behalf of uh, myself, our team, we are really humbled that we're working together to create what the future AI factories would look like. Humane really started by a vision by His Royal Highness to create, to really play in the AI total value chain, building massive capacity data centers. So we'll go to 1.9 gigawatt by 2030, um, advancing the AI chips, the cloud models, application solutions. And I want to really thank you. I know it, it, uh, it was a long trip from you coming to the US. I am really thankful for you coming and participating in this event. And Tarek, I am so delighted to be here to help celebrate the grand opening, the beginning of Humane. It is an incredible vision indeed that Saudi Arabia should build the AI infrastructure of your nation so that you could participate and help shape the future of this incredibly transformative technology for the nation Thank of Saudi you, Arabia. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you.